Il fait le vœu, je n'ai pas le choix Vous êtes mon roi Merci Geneviève, mettez cette couronne Allons, mets la Geneviève, puisqu'on te le demande The Umbrellas of Cherbourg is a French musical that came out in 1964 that's written and directed by Jacques Demy. So The Umbrellas of Cherbourg is a $50 page request that comes from Ryan Oliveira. And I believe the last film he requested was Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. And that's a film that I actually thought was pretty damn great. But as I mentioned, this film is a musical. And for those who have followed this channel, y'all know that I'm really not the biggest fan of musicals. I mean, it's not like I can't like a musical. There's plenty of musicals that I actually like, even love. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, I think, is a fantastic musical. Uh, Sweeney Todd is one of my favorites. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. La La Land is a more contemporary example of a musical that I really liked. And speaking of that film, La La Land is hugely inspired by The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. I mean, you don't even need somebody to tell you that it's hugely inspired by. You can just observe what's on screen and easily identify the similarities whether it's the eye-popping color usage in the film, and also how the main characters all share a similar romantic tragedy. But when it comes to The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, after watching the film, I I gotta say, it's, it's it wasn't my thing. Um, but even though it really wasn't my thing, and I didn't get that much enjoyment out of it, it's really difficult to put this review together because... When it comes to the direction and the writing and the production design and the cinematography and the editing, like all of the technical qualities of this film are actually pretty damn good to near perfect, to be honest. As I mentioned in comparison to La La Land, the use of color in this film is masterful. I mean, literally every single frame of this film, you can tell that the color palette and the art direction had so much intention and so much creativity poured into it because this film from start to finish is really pretty to look at. As I mentioned, the colors really pop out at you and it just makes it a really pleasant aesthetic experience. And the editing of this film is also something that really stuck out to me because there's a handful of moments in this film where you have this jump cut graphic match style of editing where you have characters that are propped up in one position and within one cut, they're in a different location, different setting, but they're in the same position. And again, it kind of goes back to the fact that it makes it a really pleasant aesthetic viewing experience. And another aspect of this film that I have to admit I really appreciated was its brutal and honest depiction of romance. Because even though this is considered to be one of the most romantic films ever made, I was pretty surprised at how unforgiving its depiction of romance was. Because, you know, this is a film that actually doesn't sugarcoat or for lack of a better word romanticize its romance um it's it's pretty harsh with it and again when it comes to all the technical qualities of filmmaking it's actually really impressive stuff it's just that unfortunately when it comes to the vision of the musical element of this film it just really dragged my experience down and made it to where it was really difficult to keep engaged with this film this entire film is sung through Every piece of dialogue in this film is sung by characters. And I understand that that's an aspect of the film that a lot of people really love. But for me, it just, it made it to where it kind of sucks the emotion out of a lot of the scenes because I don't know if it's just inherently the concept of people singing through all the dialogue that, you know, makes it feel flat. But I just felt like that on top of the music that was written for all the dialogue doesn't feel like it's really embodying the context all that well. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some moments where I do feel like the score is doing a decent job at expressing the emotion of the scene. But for the most part, a lot of just the normal singing dialogue moments, um, a lot of the music just felt standard and it made it feel really static unfortunately and it sucks because i was really trying to get into these characters i was really trying to get invested in the story but all of the music and all of the dialogue that was being delivered through song it just made everything seem so bland and it kept reminding me that i was watching a movie 
and I it kind of takes away the charisma that the characters would have. It takes away a lot of the emotion that I would have felt during scenes. And you know, I understand this is a hot take. You know, I'm I'm in the minority when it comes to this criticism, but I genuinely feel that the decision to have all the dialogue be sung throughout the film and even a lot of the music that's composed for this dialogue really stop this film from being what it could have been, which is actually pretty great. I think this film actually would have benefited a lot more from having, you know, your conventional musical set pieces and your conventional musical numbers. Usually, you know, that's even something that I don't even like, but when I was watching this film, I was kind of begging for it. But again, I actually do really appreciate the messages that this film is trying to express and just overall all the themes that are woven throughout this film because, you know, as I mentioned, they are very down to earth. It, it, you know, makes you question where you draw the line when it comes to waiting for your true love. When do we consider it to be justified to give up on your hopeful love and marry somebody who's gonna take care of you financially? It's just unfortunate that the vision of this film is what I couldn't get behind. I mean, he accomplished his vision perfectly. It's just that I am not into his vision. But with all things considered, I'll give The Umbrellas of Cherbourg a soft 6 out of 10. Even though I didn't find much enjoyment in this film, the objective qualities of it are impossible to deny, and also the amount of influence that this had on filmmakers after this point. Um, you, you have to be able to admire and appreciate some level of that. But either way, that's all I got to say about The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. If you happen to enjoy what I had to say about the film, please give it a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more film-related content.